Well, the year is already progressing, and some have asked us about the possibility of a daily devotional. Last year, we did one called Christ All in All, and some of you found it helpful. Uh, this year, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I know a few days have already moved into the new year, but uh, we're going to do a, a new series that uh, has the ironic title of Life Sentences. And uh, we recognize that time can be both a friend and an enemy. It's a resource that we can use, but uh, it can get away from us. And uh, so we want to think about this, and what we're going to do is take one verse of Scripture and have one sentence that describes the essential message of that verse. And the idea is that uh, these will be practical keys to Christian living and encourage us in being more serious about obedience to the Word of God. You know, there are uh, two different uh, Greek words that are used in the New Testament to talk about time. Uh, one of them is uh, the well-known uh, chronos. And chronos has to do with the passage of time. It's historical time. And uh, the other word is the word kairos, which refers to a point in time, an event, uh, to a strategic moment in time. When we think about the first, Kronos, we think about the famous scripture in, in the psalm, Psalm uh, 90 and verse 12, that says, So teach us to number our days that we might gain a heart of wisdom. And the idea is that we recognize there is this passage of time, days follow days, and uh, like a one-way trip on a train, we're moving inexorably towards the point when we actually run out of time. Now, along life's journey, we have these strategic moments. Not every moment is of equal value relative to eternity. And uh, we have some interesting verses in Ephesians chapter 5, where we read, See, then you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Remember, uh, the psalmist wanted a heart of wisdom. He wanted to understand the flow of life and what was happening. But here, uh, the Apostle Paul has something a little different in mind. He says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise but understand what the will of the Lord is. And so here the idea is that the time here is not the chronos time. It's not the passage of time. It's the kairos time. It is the, the event, the strategic opportunities that come to us in the passage of time. And so we need to be wise and to buy up those golden opportunities. And so the intention of this devotional series is to provide one sentence uh, quantums of truth, if you will, that can be applied to the wise usage of our time and to develop this spiritual wisdom based on scripture that will help us to identify and to lay claim to these opportunities, these moments in time that God dispenses to us along the journey of life, and we need to lay hold of those so that we might um, not only benefit personally, but become an instrument of God's will being accomplished in the world, as he says, that we might understand what the will of the Lord is. So I hope this series is helpful to you and encouraging. And uh, we're happy to hear from you, uh, discuss some of the scriptures, comments you have, and uh, we trust that this will inspire you to a wise usage of the time that lies before us until the Lord returns.